Warning, what you're about to see is adult content. Please, drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Clink! Uh -oh. Wait! Oh, no, no, no. Are we ready? Yes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina, and you guys know I rarely have special guests, but it was only right to do the very first <laughs> truth or drink with probably the person who knows the most about me. This is Angel Marino. AKA, Hello. AKA Mac Zaddy. And yeah. basically we're just gonna be playing a game. We get asked questions. If you wanna tell the truth, you tell the truth. If you don't wanna tell the truth. We gotta take a drink, we gotta take a shot. The problem with this game though is <laughs> I'm kind of a lightweight, lightweight, lightweight like, I know. My, my limit is like three shots, so. I'm actually shocked you wanted to do this when you hit me up, because I'm like, you want to do what? I sat down with the president of Disney Channel and I said, I want to make history. And you want to take what? <laughs> with a what? I'm shocked too, I don't know. <laughs> this trend has been going around on YouTube for a while now, but we decided to add like a little twist to ours. We're gonna have a little bonus round. So if I get a question that's aimed at me and I answer it, Angel has to take a shot. More sabotage. And then if he gets a question and he answers it in the bonus round, I have to take a shot. And just so you guys know, I will be doing everything in my power to get Miss Jackie drunk, so. Drunk? Mm -hmm. What is it? You're lucky it's Friday. <laughs> I'm a Christian. You We're gonna what? be lit after this video. Oh, and don't forget, don't drink and drive. And if you are drinking, make sure you drink responsibly. Mm -hmm. Period. Cheers, clink, clink. <laughs> so my alcohol of choice, is a little bit of 1942 mm -hmm. Dom Julio. You know she's expensive. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got money. It, it was a gift in PR. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite too. Me too. So I'm gonna have some of that too. Oh, mine? Yeah. You didn't bring your own? Um, I mean, I, I was, I, Well, I did bring sir, some Hennessy. You, you, didn't, you didn't bring your own? You know what happens when I drink the Henny. Oh no, oh my God. You know God. what happened. I don't know if you guys are ready for all that, so I think I'm just gonna stick to some tequila. I'm a little nervous Good. for these questions though. What, like, what are these questions? Are they like- I don't know. Are, I, are we gonna be spilling some tea? Is I, it like personal? Are they sexual? I don't know Like anything. what's the tea? I don't know anything. I'm, I'm just nervous, bitch. here for a good time, not for a long time. Period. Who do y'all think is gonna win? Let me know in the comments down below. Tell the truth. Okay, should we get started? Let's do it. Okay. okay. I'm ready to spill some tea, sis. Okay. Period. I'm coming for all these hoes. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it 100. And that's just that on that. What kind of work day did you have today? Girl, oh she's God. ready for the weekend. Wait, did you get your tea? Oh my God. Oh, what do you mean? They're perfect. Oh my God. When did you get? Last year. You know I've not seen you. We need to light a Miss Forever Mood moment. A Miss Forever Mood candle. Mm -hmm. It's like the fall candle. Have you ever not invited the other one to an event because you knew there would be someone in attendance that one of you had an issue with? Oh. <laughs> no, I because- can, I can keep it all the way 100 with this. Wait, did you not invite me somewhere? No, I'm saying I have not done that. Oh, I always okay. invite you. Good, same. I mean, even, even, even if I know there's people there that you don't care for, I'm always like, you know what? Everyone's adults. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. It is. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, I think the influencer world is the same like every other job. Like, yeah. you go to work every day. You don't like none of these people. No. You probably don't. Li like, it's, I feel like it's more. <laughs> you like the, some of them. I mean, some you like them some you of like. them. For you, I feel like for you specifically, you're kind of the person that everybody gets along with anyway. So I don't have to worry about that yeah. for you. If anything is for me. Wait, have you ever not invited <laughs> me to something? No, that's what I'm saying. Because I never would have to do that because everybody likes you so okay. much. Okay. He's a cancer child. Everybody loves cancer, honey. Me, I'm a little bit more controversial. So Angel probably has to do a lot of <laughs> guest list checking for me because it's the guest list for me. Don't look at me, don't look at me the wrong way. Girl, do you want to go home with those lily lashes or not? Try me. Name someone who was once a mutual friend between you two that you no longer associate with. Oh, <laughs> Okay, um. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to go ahead and take a shot. <laughs> you gotta pour one for me too then. Period. <laughs> okay, since it's the first one, I think I think we can be a little gen, a little I generous. I think you owe me that, I agree. Okay. That's a big shot. Wait, hold on, off. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was a lot. Oh, no, it, that was act, that was an act. Let me even it out this You're gonna later. give me more? Cheers. Cheers. Para arriba, what is para abajo. Say it with me. Para arriba. Para arriba. Para abajo. Para abajo. Para el centro. Para el centro. Para adentro. Para adentro. Mm. What did that mean? Like up, down, the middle, down the throat. Oh, chow. Oh, 
Come on, Booch Pop. Next case, Your Honor. Did you vote? If so, for who? Period. Biden. Biden. Duh. Clink, clink, clink. Clink, clink. Eh, eh. Bra, bra, bra. And if you didn't vote for Biden, we can't be friends. If you voted for Trumpiana, please remove yourself from this channel right now. Unsubscribe. <laughs> I mean, I was taking it very, very serious. Oh, like I was side eyeing people. Like, I don't want to rant about it because I, I, I can't. Let's do it because I got something to say. But I kind of feel like the one thing that kind of did irk me a little, and I'm going to just call everybody out, is when people were just being very neutral about like I agree. encouraging you to vote, encouraging you to vote. For who? Exactly. We need to know. And why? I'm like looking at people like, wait, BLM, you sure as hell were posting a black square on a Tuesday. You sure as hell were pulling up for the little photo moments at the rally. But when it comes down to like real change, mm -hmm. well, where you at? And if you voted for Kanye, I'm also side eyeing. Go to hell. Well. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is the worst gift you ever got, and who gave it to you? One year, one of my aunties was visiting us from London. One of my on, on the Nigerian side of my family, mm -hmm. because we were the biggest family out of like all of our extended relatives. Like mm -hmm. they usually would like shortchange us with gifts. They wouldn't put any effort. So I remember one year, this particular aunt like made a lot. Of, like she was pretty well off. She had and the coins. She had coins. Mm -hmm. Spent money for clothes, gifts, shoes, blah blah. Didn't spend a single dime on us. But on her last day, she was leaving for London. She was like looking her suitcase and then looking at us like, oh, I should probably give y'all something, huh? You know what she handed me? A wire hanger. Why? A wire hanger? And then she handed my other sister a smushed box of Kleenex. You're not serious. I'm dead serious. She did one of these. Here. Merry what? Christmas. Let this be a lesson because the kids know when they're not treated fairly. But you know what? I respect my eldest child. I wasn't going to get slapped. Have you ever, have you ever back a Nigerian? A Nigerian woman no, at that? Exactly. No. I'm trying to think of what a bad gift was for me. Sounds um, like you're going to have to drink. I know, I know, I know. Oh, this is so bad because my brother actually gave this to me for Christmas a couple years ago. He gave me some like hella ugly, oversized, like windbreaker tracksuit. Oh no. And I was like, Turn the lights out. I would never wear this. <laughs> it was like hella big too. So I was mildly offended no, too. No, I would be offended. Because I was like, wait, hold up. Like, what are you trying to say? And I actually forgot that he gave it to me. And then like he had, he came over and I was trying to like gift it to him, not realizing no, that didn't. I got it from him and he clocked me and then it was just. Oh, did you tell him the truth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you have to sit I was down? Like, I was like, yeah, this, this just wasn't it. Drink if you've had sex with three or more people. At the same time? Or like partners? Any of that. Duh. Clink. We, we grown, honey. We grown over here. That tastes exactly like Sprite. I swear okay. to you. Okay. You can slap okay. me if, try it. I swear to you. I can slap you? Don't slap me. <laughs> Don't slap. That would be mean. It tastes like Sprite. That's way better. Thank you. Who's the least favorite person you've collabed with? Collabed with in like creating content? Don't ask for specifications. Yeah. Then we're going to have to not answer them. It's going to make it even more hard Wait. to answer. I would never collaborate with someone that I did not. No, but the question was, from. who was your least favorite? I don't, I don't have one. I don't have a. I promise you, I don't have a least. You favorite. You got a drink. I'm not, I'm not taking that. No, the that's question not was, fair. The question was least favorite. So out of everyone you've collaborated with, who was your least favorite? Well, the game. So if you had, if you had to rank them, there's no, gonna be someone at the bottom. The game is. Drink. The game drink, is you have to answer drink, the question, drink, which I have. Drink. It does not apply to me, therefore it does not count. Thank you. No. Next case, Your thumbs Honor. up this video if you think Jackie should take a drink because she's going to. Don't try to control what my followers do. <laughs> you are on my turf, sir. Go ahead and leave a comment. <laughs> make sure you subscribe. No, you have to drink. I'm not taking. No, that. I've seen the videos. If you answer it, you don't have to drink. Okay. Just saying. Okay. My least favorite person I've ever collaborated with. Um. Taking a long time to answer there. I'm gonna just say what you said. I don't have one. You know what? You're fake because you just hijacked my answer. I don't have one. I think you're doing that to absolve responsibility of like nope. actually having to admit it. Nope. Okay, all right. Jackie, you must get rid of one of Angel's artist couture makeup items. Angel, you must get rid of one of Jackie's forever mood candles. Which one? Are you both picking? I'm only gonna pick one that won't work for my complexion. Okay. It was the white one, the white, white, white one. Coco Bling. Yeah. That's what I'm on right now. 
Balm is the eyeshadow one. <clears throat> but on on my skin, it's like too much. Too it much. would be like way too, too silvery, too yeah. frosty, too light. Yeah. Out of the candles, I'm gonna go with the one that probably was. I don't want to say what least, is the color. I don't want to say least favorite because it's not like I don't like it. But out of the assortment, you can live with that. Out of the assortment, that was probably the one that I was like, I like it, but you know what I mean. Not love. Not as much as like the other ones I compared to the other ones. You know so what I mean. So which one was it? Caked up. Really? Mm -hmm. So you liked cuffing season right. at first. So cuffing season, cuffing season. No, that's yellow. I cuffing liked that one. That one's the citrusy one. Yeah. Yes. I liked that one and like the left on red. Because she's I giving me I vacation why, vibes. I, that's what I was going to say. I know why you like that one. Caked red. up was a, uh, more like on the sweeter side for yeah. me. Yeah. What's the <clears throat> most you've gotten paid for a brand deal? Oh! Ah! You going to spill the tea, sis? Define paid. Money. How many quintadas did you get paid? You have to drink to that one. <laughs> no. Drink You're gonna that. drink? Yeah, I'm not gonna share that. They don't think I got money. They don't think all my brand deals get paid. I get paid all the same for all my brand deals. And just so everybody knows, all brand deals are different, and they're not very all, different. They're not all gonna be the same quaint. It also varies on like how long they're able to use it. Like use, it's called like usage uh, rights. Like how long they're able to use it. Is it six months? Is right. it a year? Is it like infinite? Also like where it's being used. Exactly. Is it being used in the United States? Is it being used for print? Is it being used? All of that goes into the quaint hatters. Just so y'all know. All right. Oh, that's good. You good? No, you okay. good? I'm gonna do one with you, and I'm not gonna reveal my okay my number either. Oh, you were willing earlier. I was willing if you were willing. You were? Yeah. Oh, spill some tea then. No, I'm not going to. I wanna know. No. <laughs> you know how much I get paid. Here we go. I think you do. Cheers. Oh, I know. <laughs> Shut up. <clears throat> that was a good one. Okay. At what age did you lose your virginity? You know, I'd be willing to answer that one. Go I was ahead. I was 18. I was 19. Were you in college? Yeah. I was a freshman in college. Hated yeah. it. Terrible. Next question. Where is the wildest place you've had sex? And there's a bonus. If you tell us with who the other person has to drink. Ooh. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm so boring. All the places I have had sex have been expected places to have sex. Like a bed. Or like the laundry room. Like that's not wild, that's boring. I've, <clears throat> I've had sex on my balcony. Oh, I've done that too. That's risky. Yeah. That's scary. Oh my God. Girl, it was such an adrenaline rush though. I'm not gonna say with who though, cause it's somebody that people might know. Oh, I don't know who that is. No? No. Mm, well, that's who it was. He's cute, <laughs> he's cute. Jackie. Who is your least favorite ex of Angels? Wait. Wait, this isn't fair. This is the second ah! bonus question I got. So we already know. I already know who it is. Okay, it's the guy. I don't I don't even know his name. Can I tell the story of what happened with that? That was bad. Sure. So some guy, like, I had been seeing him on my explore page on Instagram like so many times, and this guy is a makeup artist, and the work, honey. Bomb. He lives in a different state and he was in LA and I had been like trying to like, hey, like let me know when you're in LA. Like I would love to work Wait, with you. Wait though, that wasn't an ex though. It wasn't? No, we were just dating. That makes it even worse because you were mad at me. <laughs> so I've been asking him, tell me when you come to LA, I really want to work with you so many times. We'd exchanged, you know, contact info like three different times. Finally made it to LA, worked with him, posted my selfies, went to wherever I was going. I think I was going out to an event or something. Went on about my day. Girl. Angel texted me. Girl. Sends me a screenshot of the picture and was like, I can't believe you would do this to me. How could you? I was just I, like. I was this close to ending our friendship. You wouldn't have. You wouldn't have. <laughs> And you wouldn't have, and you know what? <clears throat> this is a hill I'm willing to die on, but I still don't think it was my fault. That was not my fault. Because this guy, I asked him like, what are you talking about? It was Angel's, I guess not your ex, not the guy you're dating. But he the does thing not is, count as an ex. But the thing is, Angel never posted a picture of this guy. I never met him. The one trip that he went on with you, I was not there. Never seen this guy's pictures, even on his page. I did, I did show you photos. Okay. You probably did, but I mean, how many pictures? These guys, Angel, these guys really? I know, I know. Like, I know. I'm supposed to remember? <clears throat> and to make matters even worse, on his Instagram page, he does not post any pictures of himself at all. It's just his work. So by the time I put two and two together, I was like, oh, 
the problem was because he was coming to LA, he had been like hitting him up recently. So he was like repouring salt on the to, wound. To like kick it. We had kind of like a moment where like we were not, not that like it was like, like we weren't going to be friends, but there was something that happened and we kind of had a moment where like you expressed that she, she had felt a way about certain things. And I was like, okay, I understand. I see yeah, your point period. of view. When that happened. He thought I retaliated. As basically. a normal human being. He thought, no, you're not like, normal. You're like, a cancer. Like the, as a Why cancer. Why would you think that way? The first thing that I thought of was like, is this payback? Is He's this not trying to get no. me back? No, I would never. As annoying as that one thing that I shared with you was, mm -hmm. it was not worth retaliating. Of course. Trust me, if I want to retaliate with you, we're not friends, period. Yeah. Which influencer is still ugly with makeup? Oh my God, that's horrible. No, I would never. I have one. You do? Yeah. Is it the same one I'm possibly thinking? She <laughs> But we, we, we will not speak that name. We don't give them not no in this time, household. Not in this household. So we will take a shot to that. For the road. Wait, I just love that we were on the same page with that. I was about to give a really like politically correct, like no one's ugly. And then I caught myself. Some of y'all ugly on the inside. It's not even about this. It's ugly on the inside. How about that? Cheers to being beautiful. Mm, inside and out. Inside and out. And not being racist. <laughs> What is one personality trait that the other should work on? It's not even just a you thing. It's a cancer thing. It's a cancer I thing. I knew you were gonna say that. Is it my emotions? No, no, you're actually good with your emotions. <laughs> Cancers tend to like walk into a room and they kind of want to like be cool with everybody. Mm -hmm. And as a Leo, sometimes that can be annoying because it's like, don't, 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 don't let them. But adulthood is understanding. Not everybody's gonna just like who I just like. Mm -hmm. But the, the Leo in me slightly just be like, oh, why is he being nice to them? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like I said, that's just the nature of what we do. I feel like you're a little spacey sometimes. Really? We're like, yeah, we're like, you forget to text back. I do. Or forget to call back. I do. And then I'm just like, I know, did this bitch forget? I do. You know? I'm sorry. I think you need to work on that a little bit. I do. Text a bitch back. I agree. Yeah. I actually agree. That's why everyone thinks we're not friends anymore. Why do people think that? People are so know. weird. Well, we're we're in a pandemic, so like we're not Period. spending time with people the way that we used to be. True. What kind of nudes do you send? If you demonstrate the angle that you do, the other person has to drink. Do you send nudes I to don't. Dennis? No, I don't. I don't need to. I don't to. send nudes either. I don't either. I don't, I don't trust that. In the age no. of screenshot. Hell to the nah. Blackmail. No. no. Name something your parent would be ashamed to know about you. Well, that I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> and not a doctor. <laughs> I don't want to give specifics. It's probably like things that I've done sexually. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Fair, yeah. that's a good answer. Because I think especially like parents, they just look at you as like their child. Yeah, like, holy. They Which celebrity has the ugliest child? <gasps> None. I don't think there's anybody. I don't think anybody has an ugly child actually. And that's like me truthfully answering. Oh my God, you're so mean. What? You're so mean. Who Why? are you thinking of? Because I saw that face. Nobody. I know you're lying. Tell the truth, shame the devil. No. They're not ugly anymore. <laughs> they just needed to grow Damn a little. Damn it, stop, you're they so just, mean. They just needed to grow a little. Drink up. Do we have to drink? You Fuck. gotta drink, okay. I know. I feel like you can think it, but like I just wouldn't say it. Like I don't, people be on the shade room, why? I mean, I would never like say it, but I feel like. <laughs> let me, let me, just drink, let me, just drink. <laughs> Don't even. Everybody's about to drag me in the comments, girl. <laughs> they will. What is your body count? <clears throat> I love, I'm gonna have to peel back with the shots. She really asked what our body count was. That's enough! Oh, that's not even my shot. Why am I yelling? You're making me feel all mushy now. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. Macho your business. What YouTube channel or Instagram page are you secretly embarrassed to admit you like? It's this girl, her name is, is, is Bread Face Blog. She literally smashes her face into different types of bread. Oh, I remember that girl. I'm kind of obsessed. And she's verified, look. Now she's doing all kinds of other videos too though. Is this a Savage X Fenty ad? Girl, look. What? I think it's a combination of how moist the bread looks sometimes. <laughs> Giving the people something they didn't ask for. That's funny. I just, there's just something about her smashing her face into the bread <laughs> that just really, and I love it. <laughs> I don't really have any 
guilty pleasure channels like that or no, or, no not really they're pretty like normal have you ever faked an orgasm and the bonus is if you tell us with who the other person has to drink I had definitely have. I haven't. It's harder for a guy to fake it though. That's what I was gonna say. You can't, I was gonna say, does this even apply to you? Because, because guys can't fake them. You know what's actually sad is like, <clears throat> I didn't even know that women could orgasm until I was like 23. What? Angel, nobody teaches us these things because sex is so male focused that I thought that that's what guys did. I had no clue that women could do that. And then when, when it happened, were you like shook? I was like, <laughs> Hold on! What was that? My, like my mind was like, was like everything I thought I knew was shattered at that point. I was like, whatever that was, I don't ever want to not experience that again. You done flipped the slip for me, bro. And now she got that in-house. <laughs> oh my god! That in-home. That British tea. Yeah. <laughs> it's the accent for me. <laughs> I can't. Shout out to Dennis. Shout out to Uncle Dennis. For putting it. Oh. To the ground. Sure, that's one way of putting it. They will look that the other has worn that was your least favorite. I don't have a specific look, but when we first became friends, it was a lot of concealer. Me? Yeah. A lot. Really? Yeah. But to be fair, it's not like my makeup was amazing <laughs> when you first met me. You no, were. not concealer. Contour. Con you wore. Mm. You used to wear a ton of contour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like it was either contour or bronzer, and I was like, oof. Just something wasn't right. Just, <laughs> just something. I'm trying to think if there's a look that you've worn that I didn't like. Makeup or like fashion? Makeup, right? I think it could be all of the above. No, I feel like you're always pretty spot on, and I'm not just saying that to like say that. I feel like you, you have good taste. When you first met me, it was a little shaky. I don't feel like it's ever been shaky. Really? No, I so. but I feel like when I met you, you were already kind of like in Learning a different how to like get realm. It. Okay, maybe. Because I feel like when we met, you you had already been doing YouTube for like a minute. Oh God, yeah, forever. What is it, like sugar pie, sweetie cakes? What was it? <laughs> a little pumpkin pie of five. That. <laughs> when I met you, I, I would have been a YouTuber for about six years already. Six years? About, yeah, because we met what year, 2014? Yeah. yeah, it was five years in. Wow. What is the freakiest thing you've done? <sighs> I can't say that I have one, you know? I'm very normal. Jackie, you're gonna have to drink on that. Ah! I'm not gonna lie, girl. I like some nasty, dirty, freaky shit. That's enough, that's enough. You know she's out the door in, honey, so. What's that supposed to mean? Girl, Google it. Let me know. There was this one time I was at a restaurant with oh. the, with uh, someone I was dating at the time. There were some things that were happening under the table. How'd you pull that off? Luckily, the table had like a long tablecloth. It had to have. I guess what isn't said must be acknowledged, understood. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say. I guess what was said must be understood. What? <laughs> what isn't said. Okay, next question. Let's, let's move on. Name a celebrity or influencer with terrible fashion sense. Who? I'm gonna drink. Who? I don't wanna say. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Jackie, uh uh, Jackie, you need more. Ah! Don't pour a lot. Ah, that's enough. The room is starting to spin. When is the last time you picked your nose? You don't pick your nose? I pick my nose every day. Oh my I god. Do too. I'm queen of <clears> nose <throat> picking. Who doesn't pick their nose? Booger queen. I'm the CEO of picking my nose. I mean, I feel like when I'm in the shower, I gotta like make sure it's like. I live for getting my nose hair Don't waxed. do that, that's bad. I've heard that it's bad because I heard you're supposed, you're supposed to like to have like, a little moment. Yeah, you're supposed to have nose hairs. But I like, it you just- You trim this one though. Where, will just, you pull it out? Ooh, my nails I feel can't it. get it. You got I have it. tweezers. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Wow. You want me to pick it for real? Yeah, just go, just go, just go, just go. Ooh, this just is gonna go, hurt. Go, 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 oh my God. Go, quick. Ooh, I didn't get it! it didn't get pull it, I'm not gonna pull it, I'm scared now. Just go. You gonna sue me? No. Okay. Oh. Oh, I got like three. Ooh, my oh, my bad. My bad. But I got it. I got, I'm glad we I could do three. this. Name drop the most famous person to hop in your DMs. And there's a bonus. If you hop into someone's DMs right now and show us, write whatever you want, the other person has to drink. I'm not going to DM them, but I'll show you. You're not going to say who it is? Yeah, I'm going to say who it is. Who am I obsessed with? JLo? No. I was just talking about it when I got here. And I was like, oh, have you heard? Have I heard what? I was like, have you heard of the new album? Oh, Ariana! Oh, Ariana Grande shops artist couture. Long story short, I got flewed out by her team to do her makeup. She's been following me ever since. Wait, I, you did I that? obviously love her, yeah. Every time she DMs me, I just still, I'm always like- Giddy. 
yeah, just because I love her so much. But she That's shopped cute. my website and it, I was having like the worst day that day. Like, it was bad. Aww. Like, I, it was one of those days where you just felt like giving up. And she DM'd me and was like, I just shopped on your website. And I felt like that was like a sign from God. Oh, absolutely. Like, literally. And I remember like bawling. That's nice of her. What about you? I mean, I feel like you got some athletes, some rappers. I don't, none of which I know their names. Really? I don't know those people. Lil Pump. It's happened. Lil Uzi. Ew, they're not my Lil, Lil Yachty. Lil is not my type. No. And I'm not He's their type He's a Trump either. supporter, so no, absolutely Exactly. Not. How are you going to be a Trump supporter, not be black, and be saying the N-word? Boy, bye. Technically, this doesn't count because, like, I met her first, and then we started following each other, but she followed me first, Naomi. Can be so, the Naomi Campbell. The one and only. So that's kind of cool. Isn't but does that, that cool, count though? though? That's not how we first encountered yeah. She didn't like how, th no, that doesn't I, really I, No, I'm still a celebrity and it's still a DM. I think for this bonus round, we should have the liberty of asking each other a question. If you don't answer it, you have to drink. Ooh, this is controversial. You're not gonna answer this one. You're not gonna answer this one. Ask it. Go ahead. You go. No. You got it. You. Go. You. Go. Rock, paper, scissors. Go. Okay. Name an influencer or celebrity that you've met that you feel didn't look like their photos. Me? No, a real life person that you've met that you were like, that is a whole catfish. I'm being brutally honest here. Brutal. I swear on everything, I've never personally encountered that, but I know that that phenomenon is very real. So who, give me a name. No, I'm saying- We I've all never... have one. No, I don't. Since we don't have an answer, I'm gonna ask another question. No, no, yes. wait a minute. Name a beauty influencer that you are surprised that they actually have a thriving career. All of the racist ones. Period. They don't even hide it anymore. Did I lie? No. Did I lie? No lie has been detected. Period. And the fact that I don't even have to name them says that there's more than enough. So my question is, is there anybody in the industry that if you did not work with them, you would not be friends with them. Would you, would you, would you, how do you, how would you answer that question? <laughs> you are so drunk. <laughs> no, I'm not. Honestly, there's not really someone because even though I do pride myself on being like a very neutral person, I don't befriend someone if I don't genuinely feel like a genuine, you know, moment. Who makes the worst Thanksgiving dish in your family? It's me. I'm not gonna cook. So. I would say me too, because all of my family cooks pretty bomb. Mine too, it's actually sad. And I actually can't cook. I can cook, I just don't want to. I'm the person that shows up with like Popeyes. I'm the person who shows up with the alcohol and money for the nieces and nephews. <laughs> You must tell us a secret that no one knows about you. The secrets that I do have, I can't tell, so. Damn, do I have to take another shot? My head hurts. I honestly can't think of a secret. I have a lot. What have you been through? Don't pour. I have. That's enough. Deep, dark secrets. Do not even try it. Oh, you know my limit is three. Come on, it's the last one. Cheers. Mm. I feel like it kind of burns more and more the more you take. It's like when you had a gangbang. Take care of it! Stop it! I can't say that good. I I can't say that I relate to that. I'm just kidding. Hey. I've never. I've never. Shut up. You're lying. It's I've never. Head. And the winner is Jackie. <laughs> she said. <laughs> I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? Because I didn't think you were gonna win. I go for the gutter and everything that I do. I win. Wow. I go for W. Wow. I don't ever get L's. Only wins. Wow. How about you scoop up a win like I just did? Wow. How about that? Dennis, if you're watching this, thank me later. Vibes, are you ready for bed, babes? I love, he's, is that like Austin Powers vibes? No. Austin Powers is British, <laughs> yeah. no? Right? I think so. Is he British? That's a good question. Like British. this video if you think Austin Powers <laughs> is British. If he's not, tell us in the comments what he is, because we don't Thumbs know. up this video if Austin Powers is British. <laughs> Thumbs up this video if you like to see Jackie drunk and we need to get her drunk more often on her channel. I need to go to bed. I feel like you're about to knock out, honestly. No, the party just started. So this was fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed. A spill in the tea. What's it called again? Truth or drink. I hope you guys enjoyed Truth or Drink with me and Angel Marino. We're definitely gonna do this again. We have to do this again. All right, shout out to everybody. I have fun. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys wanna check out Angel, you can find them at? Find me on Instagram at MacDaddy, M-A-C underscore D-D. 
Wait. Isn't it like D-A-D-D-Y-Y-Y? Mac underscore D A D D Y Y. As a matter of fact, you won't even have to type all that. You're going to find him once you type in the first three letters because Instagram's already going to know what time it is. If you guys want to watch another video, we're going to link it right here. Right here. You can just click. Actually, you should just watch our last collab. I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, watch. It's so funny. It's actually really she funny. She made me wear nails, you guys. She and, tried me. And I know you ain't got nothing else to do. And took so. me to somewhere spooky to do some spooky things. Wait, what did we do? Oh, yeah, that was funny. That you was know fun. what you did. You that know what funny. you did. I forgot about that. <laughs> she knows what she did. Bye! <laughs> Bye.